This letter is your chance. Sasha, these chances happen once in a lifetime. Just once. You don't have to convince me. I didn't get myself fired. Right. What did Mr. Kim want from you? Why don't you tell me? He wanted me to snitch. To work for KGB. Is that all? Big deal. <gasps> so what? It is a fact. Those KGB officers usually recruit new girls. And all of them agree? They agree. But not all of them snitch. How is that? It's simple, really. You think one thing, and you say another. And you do neither, because if you do, you'll get into big trouble. That's good. Take notes. I can't do that. <sighs> you had a dream. Weren't you the one who said, I want to travel, I want to go to Paris. Well, now you can go to Paris. But when the first challenge comes, run away from it. Why are you so concerned about me? What's in it for you? Who cares if I go there or not, huh? I also had my chance. I got scared. And no one was there to help me out. I don't want you to make a... the same mistakes I made. Sasha. Why don't you say yes? What? Mm-hmm. Ivan, but how can you do that? How can you say something like that? You know me very well. You know perfectly well what that Kim wants from me, that he has this case against me. Listen to me, you can change everything your whole life. How? Leroy is going to help you. How in the world can Leroy He'll help He'll help you me? in Paris. <sighs> you're crazy, you really are. Well, if you stay in Paris, you'll be able to do the exact same things you're doing here, except you'll be free there like a butterfly. Ivan, you're talking nonsense. You are very beautiful. And you know the language, so you will succeed. That's important. What about you? I'll call Dina. Dina is my friend. We'll leave the country, but instead of going to Israel, I'll go to Paris to be with you. How are you, Dad? Hello. What is it you want now? Well, it's about Israel. If you think you can easily get your mother's and my permission, better think again. Don't even ask. Uh, 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 what's that? Is... is that the, the, the new, new gun? It's old. May I? You want to shoot? Uh-huh. Just a little. All right, then try it. Just be careful. Hard recoil. L listen, Dad. Let's make a bet, huh? What kind of bet? If I n n n knock the, the, the down all the three bottles with only three shots, then I win the bet. Then, then I'll go to Israel. Right. If I don't, with wait, nonsense. Dad. D D Dad, d d you have to give me a chance. You have to give me a chance. Give me the damn Please. gun. All right, go ahead. Shoot it. Shoot it, damn it. You will miss it anyway. <laughs> Got it. I hit Hey, Dad! I hit it! Got it! Hey, Dad, did you see that? I hit it! Huh? Did no, you see stop, that or not? Hold stop. on, I'll try Wrong one more set. time! Give me that. What for? Then shoot me, do you hear me? Are you crazy? There's no life for me in this country anyway, don't you understand? Where are you? No life, you Give hear me? me? No, you're out of your damn mind! Give it to me! I would've... hit it, right? You won anyway. Good afternoon. I agree. To what? To snitch. To cooperate. To cooperate. Where do I have to sign up? What made you change your mind so fast, Sasha? I want to go to Paris. <laughs> Everybody wants Paris. But I'm the best. I deserve it and I won't give my place to anyone. Hmm, I like your attitude. That's more like it. Now I believe you. But I won't sleep with you. <laughs> Alexandra, I sleep alone. 
Dad, do you remember back when I had angina and you and Mom bought me a huge iron tank? Huh, Dad? Hmm. Dad, is everything okay? I don't know how to tell your mother. I don't know. Don't worry, Dad. I'll tell her myself. I'll tell her myself. Yes. Of course. Yeah, yeah. A thorn. That's what you are. Here. So that you don't forget. Thanks a lot, Dad. That's it. If you go, mm -hmm. I'll make the necessary calls. Dad, I need to leave immediately. Okay, go on. What if we don't make it? We'll make it. Stay positive. All you have to do is, when you're in Paris, you just have to pick the exact moment to get out of the hotel unnoticed. That's easy to say. Kim will probably be watching me all the time. I'll be in Paris by then, so I can distract him. How will I know you're there? He'll see me. Just look across the street and I'll be there. And if you're not there? I'll be there. If anything goes wrong, go ask the police for political asylum. How will I find the police? Just ask a stranger. That's it. No way. I can't do anything without you. I'm afraid. I don't know about anything. It's a foreign country. Don't be. There are people there too. There are, there are dogs and there are cats walking around. Come on. Everything's gonna be alright. Stop. Stop. Paris. I told you, it's very simple. It's just a street, those are just people. And we'll have coffee in that cafe over there. That's all there is to it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Go on. <laughs> Let's go this way. Yes. Oh, there! I see it! You are correct. Sasha, go! Just have fun! Go! Let me try the cafe on the other side. We enjoy ourselves. Come on, why don't we go? She tells him coffee? Look at that guy. See? He's having fun. Maybe we'll go to the Gotcha, cross the street. <gasps> wow. Allow me to, Madame well. No need. I'll carry my suitcase myself. Madame Don't give him your suitcase. She can carry it. Merci. Sasha, Rima, Lilia. Here, take it. Thank you. Hey, girls, where is Gotcha? Gotcha, huh? Get over here. Come here. <laughs> Where were you? I've been looking for you everywhere. Look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness, please. Stop gotcha. being so this the umbrella. Gotcha, put what the umbrella doing? back. It was lying Leave there. there. <laughs> Girls, let's take it easy today. Okay, uh -huh. then, listen to me. This is important. Mm -hmm. Today, we're all going to rest. Did you hear me, Katya? Resting means getting some good sleep. Tomorrow will be a long day. 
At 9 in the morning, let's gather in the lobby and so we can go to the rehearsal show. <laughs> yes, good. One more thing. Uh, do not go outside the hotel without me. I'm in room 16 if you need me. Unfortunately, the consul officer refused your entry into France. But you can go to Israel. But you promised me. What about the French consul in Moscow? These papers do not have any legal power here. A free country, my ass, bastards. Total bureaucratic crap. Ivan, freedom is the equality of all before the law. And according to the law, we have to go to Israel. I don't care about those laws. I need to go to Paris. Ivan, come on. Why are you in a hurry? Latest newspapers. What is that? Here, take it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What is this? A Russian beauty conquers Paris. The end of this year's fashion week in Paris. I have to be in Paris today. I'm going to the French embassy right now. Stay here. Uh, I need to go to Paris. No, that's not possible. This Russian girl is guarded like a prime minister. You can't even go near her to talk to her. This strange man is closely guarding her. He's a KGB agent! Good morning! Good morning! And I'm here, hi! <laughs> oh, good morning, Mr. Kim. Hey, girls, come on, dig in. What's this? Those are cakes. We're not allowed. You are. You've earned it. Fashion week is over. I absolutely have to do a photo shoot with that Russian girl without that pesky agent. Maestro, we'll think of something. Call her at the hotel. I call every day and they don't connect. What would I do without Call a her again! Call her again, right now! Mr. Kim? Can I take my bathrobe with me? No. Why not? You can't. She's already packed a huge bath towel in her suitcase. <laughs> Only one. Really? <gasps> oh, what are these? Oh, those are French eclairs. They're very tasty. And what is this? I got one for you, too. What's this? Why don't I have one? Who could be calling? I don't know. Go and answer the phone. Hello? Good morning, Mademoiselle Alexandra. Yes? It's Dominique Leroy. Pleased to meet you. Go on, please. I just find you absolutely gorgeous. I would like to invite you to a photo shoot at my fashion house. Just a second. This is Dominique Leroy. He wants to meet me. Tell him we're about to leave. Monsieur Leroy, unfortunately I can't accept your invitation today. Why not? I'm sorry, but we're heading back to Moscow. Uh, wait! Hurry up and get dressed. I'll be waiting for you downstairs in five minutes. I'm going this way. You head on that way. But we're not allowed to go out. It's all right. You can go out with me. You wanted to see Paris. Yes, but then, with all those shows and rehearsals, we never got to see it. Here it is. Enjoy the view. Waiting for someone? No, I'm enjoying the view. To the cafe? Yes. Still, I'm happy. I have to go to Paris. You. What's funny is, under certain circumstances, I could have been a Parisian. How's that? You see, after the war, my parents, God rest their souls, worked at the embassy here in Paris. That's where I was conceived. <laughs> then my father was accused of spying for the Americans. He tried to escape. They caught him, sentenced to death. I was born in the prison camp. My mother died after childbirth. Then how did you... End up working for the KGB? 
so I wouldn't end up on the other side and I could be... the Punisher, not the punished. Go to Paris. Press forwarding from Yugoslavia. Well, that's <laughs> great. Money first. That's all. So little. That's all I have. What about the watch? Uh, no, it was a gift from my father. I just can't give it away. <sighs> the watch or a ride to Paris? All right, then. Here. Get in the back. Sit quietly like a mouse. Got it. <laughs> Hi, the drinks! Uh -huh. You just scare me like Good that! Katya. <laughs> Why did you do that? We were relaxing. Mascara? Did you see it? It's wet. And the brush is amazing. Huh? Sasha, what's your perfume? I don't know, you go check. She's been standing by the window all day. She won't leave. It's like she's waiting for the Prince of Monaco. <laughs> Travel documents, please. Step out of the vehicle! Immediately! Hurry up! Sasha! Shh! Where are you going? I'm going to Paris. Where are your documents? I need to go to Paris. Passport. What's, oh, passport. Here. I have it here. G going to France. Rima, listen. I hope you won't take this against me. I'm leaving now. Okay? And I won't be coming back here. I don't get it. Ivan and I agreed that I will stay in Paris. Are you out of your mind? Did he put you up to mm -hmm. it? I have to go to France. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey! Alexandra, I Quiet. won't let you go Quiet. anywhere. I need to go to France! Is this your partner? Tell him I'm with you, do you hear me? Tell him, you bastard! Why aren't you saying anything? Sasha, stay. I won't let you go anywhere, you hear me? Thank you Sasha, for everything. Thank you, Sasha! Hello. What? What time? Miss Linkoff, stop! <laughs> stop! You'd better listen to me! Stop! So 
Russia! Alexandra! She's still very weak, so you only have five minutes. Does she speak French? Yes, she hmm. spoke to me in French earlier. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle, I called a police officer like you requested. What's going on, doctor? Why are the police here? I'm a Russian fashion model. I recognize you. That man. What are you telling me. him? I was running away and got hit by a car. Don't I talk to him, Alexandra. You assignment. have no right to talk to her. Please help me. Alexandra, I'm shut up. I'm begging you, please help me. You have no right. Help me. She is a Soviet citizen. Leave the room. Go on, leave. She's a Soviet citizen. Leave the room. Go on, leave. Come on. Get her. <laughs> Sasha, don't do this. Sasha! Sasha, be quiet! Do you know? What this is? This is the end of your career. I'll straighten things out. By getting to another fight in front of the reporters? It will be quiet. Quiet, you say? If you can't bring her back, get rid of her. Mansour Leroy? has paid for Mademoiselle Linkov's treatment in a private clinic. Then she will be transferred to a more comfortable and safer Russian facility. Why during the night? Better while the KGB are asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Mademoiselle Linkov <laughs> is being transported to a private clinic. We will have our own security in place there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. This way, please. Uh, and you are? Shh. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, what are you doing, darling? We're nursing you back to health, and you? Darling, you can't be so careless. If you don't care for yourself, at least take care of your baby. Hmm? Why are you looking at me like that? You're pregnant. Everything will be all right. I'm giving you an IV drip now. Oh, our Alexandra's awake now. That's very good. Excuse me, she's due for her IV treatment. We'll just do it later. So now, shall we go get some fresh air? I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, you KGB scum of the earth, I Thanks hate you! Thanks for your gratitude. I saved your life, by the way. There were instructions to kill you. I don't believe you. Let's walk this way, please. The day before you escaped, the soloist of the Bolshoi Theater, Alexander Godunov, had just escaped. Your escape would have been too much. That's why they ordered to eliminate you. Then why didn't you kill me? Because I pitied you. But you didn't feel the same for me. You betrayed me like Judas. 
What did they do to traitors in your orphanage? We had our heads dunked in a toilet. I'm not a traitor. Oh, no? <laughs> and who agreed to cooperate? Who begged me to go to Paris? Who did I vouch for? Who ran away afterwards in the middle of the night, sneaking out like a rat? I'm not a rat! I'm not a rat! I'm not a rat! You blackmailed me! Take it easy now. Try to rest. In your condition, you should avoid stress. You're so considerate. Oh, yes, I am. If it weren't for me, you'd be in the prison hospital. Do you know how much they'll give you for treason? Twelve years minimum. And they'll take your baby away from you. He'll grow up alone in an orphanage. Hey, let's play. Come on. Yes, let's play hide and seek. Don't run. I can't I vouch for you. I can't find Sasha, this is your last chance to straighten out your life. Do you understand that? Yes, I'm going to find you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Jack, here you are. Here you are. Yeah, I'll get you. Go ahead and get the card. Come on. What do you want me to do? Meanwhile, in fashion news, the ramp model that was being held in a French hospital for allegedly defecting to the West was finally repatriated after being treated for a leg injury caused by a hit and run. And now, a statement from the victim. I am grateful to our local diplomats, who have facilitated my safe return to my motherland. At the hospital, a Frenchman drugged me and forced me to make a statement that was hostile to my country. I have no ties to the West whatsoever. I am now back home, reunited with my husband. I was very worried for my dear wife. This can't be. Open the door! Let me out, you bastards! Open the door! Open the door! Shut up, you idiots! Let go of me, you fascist scum! Tell them to open the door! <laughs> Are you and Vadim back together? Why should we? We already divorced. We got divorced before the trip. Take it easy. His voice makes me cringe. Wow, I believed you. What an act. Well, I acted out what they told me to. You know, to. I also sent my man away. I'm sick of him running back and forth between me and his wife. I'll tell you what, those men, they're all the same. Unzoe, come on. It's nothing. Then just relax. Thank you. Hi there. How are you? Dina? I thought you already moved and lived in Israel. Well, there were some complications and so we had to stay for a while. Mm-hmm. I understand. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, you know, I decided to break away and taste freedom. <sighs> How did you even get your exit permit? You're not even Jewish, are you? <laughs> Yeah, these days they let a lot of people out, and I got lucky they were very pleasant. What did you do to convince them? Mm, what do you mean? Well, it was you who ratted on Ivan when they took him to the asylum. It was you, Boris. No one else could have done it. I pieced it all together. And the other cases, too. Dina, I think you're imagining My imagination, things. dear Boris. May be of interest to many people. Well... But I can keep it to myself. Scratch my back, I scratch yours. Well, they did a pretty good job on you. I called one communist here a Nazi. <laughs> They're fighting communists? Uh huh. Uh, Gorechev and Demin. Just organized an exhibition on Malaya Gruzinka. There was a huge line of visitors. Oh, by the way, um, I saw your girlfriend there. She's the model, Alexandra. Um, she pretended she didn't recognize me, but she was with her husband. With, what's his name? The diplomat? It's become fashionable to go to Gruzinka. That's why they go there. That can't be true. It's not. 
What's the matter, Ivan? Do you think I'm making this up? Ivan, wake up already, wake up. Your poor Alexandra's doing very well. She's always been and always been doing well, but you... You're in a deep pit. No, I can't argue with that. Sasha, it's for you. Hello, Sasha. Everything okay? What else do you want from me? You don't seem pleased to see me. I didn't invite you in the first place. Well, I have good news, actually. Your case is closed, as I promised you. I've got the night shift. All right then, go and you better not be late. <sighs> Alexandra, I'll call you. All right, Aunt Zoe. Uh -huh. Okay. How about a drink or two? I don't want any. Oh, a little bit won't hurt. Put it away. Sasha, why are you like this? I risked my job for you. And where was that painter of yours, huh? You were waiting for him. And where is he now? He ran off to Israel and left you behind. And I've done so much for you. Will you please marry me? I want you to get out of here. Alexandra Linkov? Yes? You're under arrest. And what exactly is going on here? Comrade Major, I have a warrant. Attempted murder. Sasha! <laughs> Sasha! Don't sign anything! Don't sign, understand? Comrade Colonel, who ordered Linkov's arrest? We already made an agreement with you. And you fulfilled it. You concealed the most important evidence. Do you happen to know this man? He also broke my nose while defending Linkov as if she was his mistress. Please shut up. Major, hand in your bed. You're suspended from handling all cases during the investigation. Sasha. Rima? Yeah, time flies fast. 
Six years went by in a flash. It depends. Do you still work at the old place? <sighs> Hell no. They're doing a different style now. I'm thinking of opening a cooperative for dressmaking. What are you going to do now? First of all, I want to get my son from the orphanage. His name's Ivan. He's now six years old. I never saw him again after I gave birth. They revoked custody right away. Bastards! How could they do that? How can a traitor of the motherland be allowed to raise a son? But that's all right. I will fix myself to have a decent life from now on, and then get my son. You need to get a job right away. Otherwise, they'll say, how are you going to raise him? Listen, you come and work for me. Rima. Thank you for not forgetting me. You're my only true friend. What's wrong? Why are we stopping? I can't stand it. After many years, it still bothers me. I can't. Please forgive me, okay? What for? Lilia didn't turn you in, it was me. I didn't know it would turn out like this. They took me to Paris because the French insisted that you join. The KGB sent me to follow you and watch your every move. Sasha, please don't think that I agreed right away. It can be very convincing, you know that. Sasha. Sasha. It's okay. It's all my fault anyway. Hold on a sec. It's fish pate. Your favorite. It's good. Don't worry, Aunt Zoe. I won't have too much. You won't. I still have a son to raise. Wanna play? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Yeah. I was told that my son is here, Ivan Linka. Ivan? Yes. He was a wonderful boy, gifted, he dressed beautifully. So he took after his father. Why do you talk about him in the past tense? He hasn't lived here for a long time. What do you mean? Where is he? He isn't here. About a year ago, he was adopted. What do you mean adopted? I'm his mother and I'm still alive. I'm sorry, but... As I recall, he did not have custody over the child. Lady, wait! Hold on! Hold on, honey! Are you Ivan Linkov's mother? Yes. Do you know who adopted him? Did you see them? No, who? not them. Him. He was alone when he came here. Did he come alone? What does he look like? He, he looked like a kind gentleman. Handsome. His face, did it have special features? All features. Oh, wait, I remember one. A foreign-made car. He came in a foreign-made car. Honey, hold on, I'm coming! Mommy! I came here to get Ivan! Who's Mommy! Ivan? Get your hands off my child! <sighs> well, cheers. 
<laughs> Listen, girls, why don't I heat up something for you, huh? We still have some pork chop. No, no, thank you, dear. You'd better put the little one to bed. On my way. <laughs> Give mommy a kiss. <laughs> You're my sweet girl. <laughs> Vadim is so different. He's gotten calm and peaceful. Oh, yes. He is excellent with our daughter. Look, I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier when I saw you near my daughter. I thought you came here to take revenge. On whom? Well, on me, Vadim. Everyone thought that it was me who had set you up. It was Rima. She confessed to doing it. I guessed as much. And you called her your best friend. I'm looking for my son. Ivan, a nurse at the orphanage, told me that a man picked him up in a foreign car, so I thought it was Vadim. How long have you been with him? Four years. I got himself in trouble. Almost went to jail. Everyone turned their backs on him. I was the only one there for him. It's good to have someone there for you. Oh my goodness. Aunt Claudia. Alexandra. Linkov. Sasha. Oh. Linkov. You are finally out, sweetheart. You haven't changed a bit. You're still so beautiful. Oh, I don't even have time to have a chat with you. I'm in a hurry to see my granddaughter. Yes. What would you do without a grandmother, right? <laughs> And you know, Vadim's parents are abroad. Why are you crying? Tell me, why are you Someone crying? Someone took Ivan away from the orphanage. I don't know how to find him. That sure is a problem. And if I were you, I would go to Violetta. You know, she's a big shot now and she acts as our current director. She has a lot of connections. Mr. Kim came to see us one day. He was driving a foreign car. Mr. Kim settled down and lives with a kid. But he doesn't have a wife. Maybe she left. Go and ask Violetta. She knows. She'll tell you. Go to her before it's too late. And so, this is it. I'm doing paperwork now, not dresses. Sergei opened his fashion house. Did you know? He has a lot of customers and we're just withering away in his shadow. You haven't figured out what you're going to do yet, have you? Not yet. Violetta, I'm looking for Kim. I was told he came to see you. <laughs> do you know what he does these days? It's hard to imagine who organized a cooperative. And he bakes French buns. <laughs> the KGB man and buns. He came to offer... supplies for the buffet. They're delicious. Well, of course we accepted. By the way, don't you want to try them? No, thank you. Can you give me his address? Oh, miss. Can you tell me how to get to Lasnaya Street? Uh, through the square over there, then turn left. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Excuse me, Would you like this one? Uh, wait, 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 wait! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> Attack, Sir Lancelot! <laughs> I'm going to be as strong as you, right? Yes. Only if you finish your meal. Sure, if you finish your tea. And I'll finish my tea. Come on, eat. I stopped by the orphanage once. I brought some things, some candy. Then I visited again, and he ran out to meet me, shouting, Daddy's here to see me. Well, it broke my heart. I know what it's like to live in an orphanage. And you know it too. I got a fictitious marriage with a girl. Nivan's been with me ever since. I've grown so fond of him, Sash. And he likes me too. 
What about me? What can I expect? I do not know. Come live with us if you want. There's a guest house with a separate entrance. But I'm not giving the boy away. Then I'll pay rent. <laughs> well, what do we have here? No, 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 no. Ah. Excuse me, how did the art exhibit do? Thank you, yes, we had a nice flight. Mm -hmm. Shall we meet for lunch? Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, we can talk about the logistics and stuff after. Yeah, yeah, I know where that restaurant is. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. Dina, what's that for? Look, if you want your paintings to sell well, you have to communicate with people and make useful acquaintances. How come you still don't get it? You'll do just fine on your own. You're a very clever girl. You're very beautiful, charming, stunning, breathtaking. Oh, how flattering. I see. I'll go alone as always. Okay, I'll be in the shower. Thank you for doing this for me. Yes, I was thinking, maybe we'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll go to that, we'll go to that. What do you want? Good afternoon. Is Sasha here? She lives with her... her son now. <laughs> Together with your son! Your son! Yours! Croissants, baguettes, fresh French pastries! Thank you. Here you go. Croissants, baguettes, freshly baked French pastries! Are you selling or not? Don't you stand there. Sasha, hello. Hello, Young there. man. Will you sell bread today? Or will you chat all day long? I just want the baguette. What's this? Oh, take it. All of it. And wrap this for me, too. This too. I'll take it all. Mm, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> mommy, mommy, look at this. Ted bought me a bike. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I'm here for you. I'm not going anywhere. I have a son here. Our son. Just a moment. Let's fix the saddle. Let me adjust the saddle for you. There you go. Try it now. Opa! That's right. 
What are you waiting for? Let's ride. Go away. I didn't know. I'm begging you, go away now. Vanya, will you catch that man for me? The one who just turned around that fence? Aye, aye, Go get Captain. him. And off you go, champ! Off you go. Go after him. Go before I change my mind. Get your French pastries! French pastries here! Croissants! Croissants! Freshly baked croissants. Ladies, what's up? Huh, croissants? Two? Coming right up! <laughs> 